city. Do you think it's okay we should be more accepting of people who are overweight? Tonight with me are two members of the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance, or NAFA. They say overweight people shouldn't be ashamed and should embrace their bodies no matter what size they are. They don't necessarily encourage each other to diet, and they believe that health and size are two separate issues. Dollar head nodding out here, and it, I, I, it's hard to disagree with the idea of just being happy and accepting yourself and not feeling demeaned by whatever your body size or image is. But Mimi Roth disagrees. She is founder and president of National Action Against Obesity. Now, Mimi, you say this is misleading. Go have at it a little bit. Well, I certainly think that we all want to feel good about ourselves. That's understandable. Um, I don't think people should feel demeaned uh, by their size. And I also couldn't agree more with the message of daily exercise. No matter what size you are, you'll certainly benefit from daily exercise. You can't be healthy without that. Um, but then let's talk about where we disagree. Um, look, if you want to feel good about yourself, it's, it's impossible to feel good about yourself when you're doing something that's self-destructive. Also, self-destructive behaviors that result in damage or debilitation or even disfigurement to the body, that's never going to be perceived as beautiful. Yeah, Jeanette, now you, what about, I'm going to ask Mimi this, what about what Jeanette said about the data that in three to five years, even people that effectively lose weight end up gaining it back? Mm -hmm. I mean, we hear that, you know, the biggest loser. We hear about mm -hmm. a lot of these people gain their weight back in spite of doing a great job losing it on the television show. What about that, Mimi? Yeah, she's right. Uh, most of the studies show there's about a 95% failure rate of keeping weight off and losing it. However, there's the weight man maintenance registry that tracks people who've lost significant weight and kept it off year after year. And here's what those people have in common. They stick to food that's healthy and works for them that they like. They re regularly eat similar things. They try not to go to buffets where the, the choices are endless. They exercise at least about an hour a day and they weigh themselves regularly. So it is a fact that people can lose weight and keep it off. It's also a fact that it's really hard to do. Jeanette. Well, first of all, um, they don't really keep the data very long on that registry. It's only a couple years. So technically, I've qualified twice to be in the <laughs> weight control registry. So Actually, that's not true. They do keep it year after year. So let's be accurate. Um, well, the, the thing is that uh, I think that the Hayes approach, the health at every size approach, has been documented to work. And it's been documented to work year after year. What do you mean work? What do you mean work? Because a health at every size is a lie. If you starve yourself no. into damage, that's unhealthy. Or if you eat yourself into damage, that's not assumptions. healthy. You're making so, a lot of assumptions. Um, that's just not. Here, that's not true. You're making that's a like lot of saying, assumptions that's like saying about that weight let's being say you are a smoker. Let's say you're a smoker and have black lungs, and you try to say that's healthy because you don't have cancer yet. We know that the, the, it is actually factual that obesity is dangerous, and it's connected to cancer, stroke, Alzheimer's. We even know it's connected to a, an increase in birth defects. So there's nothing left to debate. Mimi, it's not beautiful. It's not healthy. Mimi, do you have some personal connection with all this? I, I don't know your story. Tell me. Um, yes, my, my entire family is obese, and I have to tell you, when you grow up with the people that you love and respect the most, and you see the hardship, the damage uh, to their bodies and spirit due to obesity, uh, it breaks your heart. My grandmother just passed away uh, this February, and she lay in a bed for four years not even getting up to go to the bathroom because she got so heavy she had to be put in a home. And uh, it, it's, it's just beyond tragic, and I think calling what gets people to that point beautiful is dangerous and really cruel. Um, I think it comes from a good place, wanting people to feel good. But I think something like Overeaters Anonymous might be more helpful than pretending that obesity is healthy and beautiful. Let's take a quick call. 